Mr. Nick. Mr. Nick, he's our pig. It's Mr. Nick. Yay! Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Mr. Nick Show. And I'm your host, Mr. Nick. Today, we are going to be making water walk. It's going to be so cool. And we're going to make a rainbow using primary colors. And if you saw our painting episode that we did, where we painted that rainbow using primary colors, then you know what I'm talking about. But if you haven't seen that one, make sure you go check it out after because it's really cool and something that you can do at home just like this actually. But before we get started, let me introduce you to my friend and my co-host, Allie. Hi, Hi Mr. Nick. Hey, Allie, how are you? I'm great. How are you today? Oh, I'm doing well. I'm so excited because today we're going to be doing a science experiment that's A, super cool, B, I've never even done before, and C, it's something that the kids can do at home too. That's exciting. I'm excited. I can't wait to see how this is going to work. Me too. Okay, so today we are going to make water walk. So to do this at home, if you want to do it at home, you can get seven clear cups or glasses. I have plastic cups. You can get glasses with the help of an adult. Let's count make sure I have seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, we're good there. And then I put water in only half of them. This one the third one, the fifth one, and the seventh cup, okay? One, three, five, and seven. You put water in only those cups, and you fill it up about three quarters of the way. If you don't know what three quarters is, don't worry, that's what your grown-ups are there for. They'll help. All right, this is exciting. Next, I'm going to take food coloring or food dye. Be very careful because if you get this on things, it could leave a mark. Again, only use these with the help of your grown-up. And I'm gonna take the primary colors of red, yellow, and blue. These are the three colors we're gonna use today to make the rainbow and make the water walk. In the first cup, I'm going to put red, and I'm going to put equal amounts of red, yellow, or blue in those cups. So let's see, let's count how many drops I want to use here. One, two, let's go a little more. Three, four, I'm gonna swirl a little, make sure it mixes up nicely. I think I want a little more. So let's go one more drop here. Five. That's a pretty nice color red. What do you think, kids? <coughs> Ow, does that look good? I think that looks great. I think that looks good. Okay. Now I'm gonna grab the yellow. I put five drops of red in the first cup now the third cup with the water, I'm going to put five drops of yellow. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. I'm gonna swirl that around. Be careful with that. Don't swirl so much it flies out of the cup. All right. I think that one looks good. Yeah, looking good. Okay, and then now I'm going to take, oh, I'm gonna put the cap back on the yellow. Okay, now I'll take the third primary color, which is blue, and I'm going to put that into the next cup with water, which is my fifth cup. Five drops. One, two, three, four, five. All right. 
I'm gonna carefully swirl. If you have something that you can put in there to stir, that's probably a good idea. Probably safer than swirling so it doesn't splash everywhere. Like maybe a spoon. A spoon. A stick. A stick, a straw. Not your finger, don't use your finger. Your finger will turn blue, don't do that. Okay, and then guess what? I have an extra cup here. What do you think goes in this? I have no idea. Okay, well, if you saw our painting episode, we have, we're making a rainbow, right? Red, yellow, what comes in the middle, it's gonna be orange, it's gonna happen, you'll see, it's exciting, it'll be fun. And then here we have yellow and blue, we'll make green, and after blue comes purple, but what is going to mix with blue to make the purple? I'll tell you, it's the red. So I'm going to put five drops of red. One, two, three, four, five. Let's make that red mix really nicely in there. A little swirl or you could stir. Don't shake, that's for sure. Okay, so now we have seven cups, four of them have water with food coloring. The other three have nothing in them. And I said we were gonna make water walk. How are we gonna do that? I've never actually done this before, so I'm excited to see what's gonna happen. All right, here's what we have. I'm gonna take a paper towel. Now, I've already prepared these, but if you're gonna do this at home, take a paper towel, Fold it in half, fold it in half again. And then I cut a little bit off. Let the grown-ups do the cutting. Or if they're watching and they say you can do it with supervision, then go ahead, but have a grown-up around. I'm going to put this towel into the red water. And I'm gonna put the other end into the empty cup next to it. And then I'm going to take the other paper towel that I've already prepared, right? I took a paper towel, folded it in half, folded it in half again. And I'm gonna put half in the yellow and the other half in the same cup that's sharing the red. And I don't know if you can see this yet, but the water, the color is starting to come up the paper towels. So you can see that the yellow is starting to soak up this paper towel and the red is starting to soak up that paper towel. So I'm gonna put another towel into the yellow and into the empty cup next to it. Okay. And my Fourth paper towel that I already have prepared. You're gonna to have to have these all ready to go. And we take a paper towel, fold it in half, fold it in half again. Make sure it's the right length. If you need to cut it, you can cut it. So here the blue is starting to soak up really quick on this towel. The yellow's coming up here in this towel. Let's take another towel. Put that into the blue and the empty cup next to it. One more, one more, okay. That goes into the red, that goes into the empty cup, and let's see what happens. So over here, the red, is starting to turn over in, the, in between the cups. That water and that color is rising up over the edge. Same thing with the yellow on both sides here. That blue has gotten off to a pretty quick start. This red is starting to soak. All right, so we've let some time go by here and you can see that the colors are starting to come over the top and 
they're gonna start heading down into the same cup. So you'll have yellow and blue going into that cup. You'll have blue and red coming here, red and yellow. They're starting to head over and head down into this cup. So it's gonna take some time, but I'm super excited to see what's going to happen when they get into the same cup. This will be fun. All right, so more time has passed. The blue here is almost down to the bottom of the cup. That's getting really close. Same thing over here. The yellow is really going down the bottom of the cup. Red, I'm getting closer, guys. It takes time, but that's okay. Science takes time sometimes. It's gonna be really cool. All right, so we've let more time go by and look here, the blue and yellow are meeting at the bottom of the cup. And there's a little bit, I think a green starting to form there. That's really cool. The blue is in the bottom of this cup here. The red will get there. Over here we have the yellow and the red coming together at the bottom. Really, really getting close. It takes time, but it's gonna be really cool and worth it at the end. All right, so we have let this sit here for a couple of hours, right? It's been a long time. This is not a quick science experiment, but look at it. It was so worth it. it this is amazing to me. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm gonna take the paper towels out, all right? And I'm gonna put them in this bowl. I don't wanna drip everywhere. Wow, okay. Let's take the towels out. So you could see how the water soaked all the way up the yellow into what became the orange. It's crazy how the water went all the way up the towel, right? The yellow, and then it came into here with the blue, and they made green. And even the towels turned a little bit green. Wow. Is that impressive, Allie? I am very impressed. I didn't think that was going to work. I had no idea how that happened, how the water went up. That's so crazy to me. All right, so let's take a look. Remember, we started with red, yellow, blue, and red. And now we have orange right between the red and the yellow because that's the secondary color that red and yellow make. And we have green between the yellow and blue because that's the secondary color that yellow and blue makes. And then the purple is right between the blue and the red because that's the secondary color that blue and red make. So red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple, basically a rainbow. We needed that red to make purple, but now we don't need it, so I might as well get rid of it. Maybe it's food color. Wow, that was a really cool experiment. I had a lot of fun today. It does take time, but give it a shot at home. Get different food colorings. They have neon food colorings. Try it out, see how it goes. All right, guys, I'm excited because this is my favorite part of the day. Are you guys ready? It's time for joke of the day. All right. Guess who's here to tell us the joke of the day? It's Nathan. <laughs> Nathan, how are you today? Great. Great. Okay, are you ready? Are you ready for the joke of the day? Woohoo! All right, go ahead and ask Allie. Hey, Allie. Yeah? Why did Tanner say no to Zerp? Why? Because he was stuck. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one, Nathan. That was funny. Thanks. All right, guys, we had a great time today. Really cool science experiment. The water traveled up the towels into the cup next to it. It was amazing. Making colors, primary colors, secondary colors. Go watch the painting one that we did. If you like what we're doing, subscribe so you see all of our episodes. All right, guys, we'll see you next and time. Remember to like. Yeah, like and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Mr. Nick. Mr. Nick, he's our pig, it's Mr. Nick, yay!